Hello everyone, this is Vincent from iPhoneism.com here with a tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.4 Tethered on iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch using Retsno Beta 3 for both of Windows and Mac. Yesterday Apple released iOS 4.3.4 in order to patch the PDF vulnerability in mobile safari that was used for jailbreak me 3.0 to jailbreak iphone ipad and ipod touch and particularly the ipad 2 although pdf patcher 2 that was developed by comics and released in Cydia also fixes the vulnerability so that it is not used by any other hacker hacker with devious intentions apple has officially released ios 4.3.4 which patches this vulnerability Keep in mind that if you upgrade your iPad 2 to iOS 4.3.4, you will lose the jailbreak as jailbreak me 3.0 is not compatible with this firmware. Also, if you have broke jailbroken tethered using jailbreak me, any of your supported iOS devices, you will lose the jailbreak. The, the current jailbreak for iOS 4.3.4 is tethered and will require that you connect your device to the computer each time it requires a reboot. So if you don't have a problem with that had jailbreaks you can proceed with jailbreaking iOS 4.3.4 on iPhone iPad the first generation iPad this is not compatible with the second generation iPad and the iPod touch because this video contains easy steps that will guide you through the whole jailbreaking procedure step 1 download the corresponding IPSW for your iOS device links have been provided in the description below Click on the link for your device and save the file on your computer. Step 2. Once you've downloaded the iOS 434 IPSW for your iOS device, connect the device to the computer and restore to the latest iOS 4.3.4 firmware. And if you're on Windows, press and hold the Shift key while you click on Restore. If you're on a Mac, press and hold the Alt key and click on Restore. When you click on restore iTunes will ask you to select the IPSW that you have previously downloaded. Select the file that you previously downloaded and you're good to go. So once your device has upgraded to iOS 4.3.4, it is now time to get started with the jailbreaking procedure. Step 3. Download Retsno Beta 3 to jailbreak the latest iOS 4.3.4 firmware. This is available for both Windows and Mac and download links have been included in the description below. Download the file and extract it. Now if you are running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will have to select XP compatibility mode for, so that Resno does not face any errors. Go into properties, followed by the compatibility tab. Check run this program in compatibility mode and run this program as an administrator in the privileged level. Click in OK. Now launch stretch now. Select the IPSW that was previously downloaded. Step 4 check installed Cydia. You can also enable battery percentage and multitask gestures if you want to. Click on next. Step 5. Now you have to put your device into DFU mode before Redstone can work. It's magic. If you click next at the moment, Redstone will display on screen instructions to put your device into DFU mode. But please ensure that your device is both powered off and plugged into the computer. Let's power off our device before we click on next. Please ensure that the device is fully powered off before you click next. Restroom will now begin jailbreaking your device tethered on iOS 
all right let's know it finished jailbreaking my fourth generation iPod touch at the moment you can see that there's a white city icon this appears if you have not done a tethered boot so for this we have to start red snow once again select the same iOS 4.3.3 IPSW now you have to uncheck installed Cydia and the other option that you have selected and check just boot tethered right now this is what you have to select this is step 6 of the procedure booting tethered click on next now once again you have to ensure that the device is put powered off and plugged into the computer you have to enter DFU mode again follow the instructions to put your device into DFU mode once you get this pineapple instead of the Apple logo you, you should get the idea that the device is booting tethered at the moment alright so the device has booted up there you go the city icon has reappeared and there you have it Cydia running on iOS 4.3.4 iPod Touch 4G iOS 4.3.4 Cydia 1.1.1 This is Vincent from iPhoneism.com here with a tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.4 Tethered an iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch using Jet Snow 0.9.8 Beta 3 for Windows and Mac If you like this video please rate and please do subscribe to our channel also don't forget to check out the written guide on iphoneism.com you'll find all of the relevant information there if you, f if you face any problems please do seek our help by submitting a comment here please do like us on facebook and follow us on twitter all the relevant links have been given in the description below and i shall see you in our next video thank you so much for watching